Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create a block in AutoCAD. So this is going to be a very basic uh, level review of how to create a block. And what a block essentially is, is a group of objects in AutoCAD that is formed together as one. So basically when you hover over one individual object, the entire group of objects selects. It's something that you'll probably use quite often in AutoCAD. And it will actually make your life easier instead of copying and pasting certain things. Instead, you can just insert that specific block. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, real quick, before we get started, hit the subscribe button below. Turn the channel notifications on. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And if you have any videos or specific things you want to see in AutoCAD, leave them in the comment section below. All right, so per usual on this channel, we're going to use some basic shapes to show you how to create a block. And the first thing you want to do when you create a block is you're going to want to go to the block box underneath the home tab, and we're going to click on create. Now, once you create or once you hit the create button, a block definition box is going to appear in the middle of your screen, or at least it should. And the first thing you are going to want to do is name your block. Now, this is not an option. You have to name it something, whether it's one, two, three, or something alphabetical, but it has to be named something. So we're going to name this circle. And then the next two boxes we're going to focus on are the base point box and the objects box. We're not going to worry about the behavior settings or description box right now. Those are a little bit more advanced, and quite honestly, I don't use those very often. So we're just going to look at the base point and the objects box. So the base point box is going to be where your base point is and where your insertion point is. So as you can see, I have it specified on screen. So we're going to pick our insertion point on screen. I don't like doing everything off screen. I like to specify on screen. That way I can get a better handle of what I'm doing. It's a personal preference, but it's what I like to do. And then the objects, you are also going to be able to specify those on screen. And so we're going to do that as well. That's the objects you specify that you want in the block. Now, these three checkboxes right here are going to be retain, convert to block, and delete. The retain checkbox allows you to retain what you currently selected in the drawing and not put it into a block. But it brings the block and allows you to insert it elsewhere. So say all of these circles, you don't want these specific ones to be in the block, but you want to create a block out of it, you'd hit the retain button. Convert to block would convert everything on screen to a block and also create the block. So if you want these circles that are on the screen into a block and you want to create the block out of it too, that's what you'd hit. And then delete would delete all the circles on screen, but put it into a block where you could insert it later on. So we're going to create the block. Now we're going to click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to specify our base point first as it's asking or our insertion point. And I want it to be right here. So we're going to click on center. We're going to enter. And now it's giving us the selection select objects pick box. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select all these circles. We're going to click and then we're going to hit the enter button. Now, when I come up to insert, as you can see here real quick, um, each circle is still individual. So this isn't a block and that's because we hit retain. When I come up to insert, I can now take that block and insert it into the drawing elsewhere. And when you see that I click insert, you'll also see when I click circle, the insertion point is exactly where we clicked it uh, a little bit earlier. So right there. Now, say I want to do the exact same thing, but we're going to show you the other options when it comes to creating. So we're going to name this one circle two, and we are actually going to convert it to a block as well. We're going to click OK. And instead, we are just going to do oh, the insertion point was down there. Instead, we're just going to do these. We're going to click enter. So as you can see, these circles right here are not part of the block. But since I said convert to block, I'm converting that to a block. And then I can also insert that circle too. The last um, checkbox that you could have checked was delete. And I'm sure you can guess that uh, that just deletes the block that you're creating. But we'll do it anyways just for an example. Circle three, we'll call it. We'll click delete. OK. And then we'll just uh, specify the base point right there. And then we'll just take these two circles, click enter. And there you go. As you can see, they deleted. But if we come back up here to the insert box, we have circle three that we can add. All right, so we're going to wrap up the video here. 
Again, pretty straightforward and basic creating. What is not as straightforward and basic is deleting. So I'm gonna link a video up in the right hand corner. If you wanna check that out, uh, you'll be able to see how to delete or remove a block. Again, not as basic and straightforward, but you, as long as you know where you're going and once you figure it out, it'll become a lot easier. Uh, but anyways, like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel. If you have anything you want to see, leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching the video.